Hi, I'm Melanie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about Tillandsias. Tillandsias are also known as air plants. Air plants are also epiphytes, which means their root systems attach themselves to trees. The great thing about Tillandsias is they require no soil. They get the nutrients and moisture from the air. So the basic three requirements to take care of Tillandsias are filter of sunlight or shade, good air circulation, and water. So today I'm going to show you different ways to display your Tillandsias. The simplest way is to take a vase and place your Tillandsia in the vase the way you want it, put it on a shelf or near a window. Another way to display a Tillandsia is um, to have rocks like I've already had in here, put some uh, whatever color choice of rocks you have, um, put a little layer on the bottom, and then place the Tillandsia right on top without burying it, because again, they don't need any soil to survive. It's just the rocks are mainly for decoration. Another way to display Tillandsias um, is to use this larger terrarium, and the difference between this uh, smaller terrarium and the large one is that the large one has um, a large opening, of course, and um, vented holes, which gives it more air circulation, and Tillandsias love air and moisture. So I'm going to show you how to make a Tillandsia arrangement using this terrarium. The first thing you need is to place some rocks on the bottom. You just put a little layer. Okay. And you might need a little bit more rocks and you just do it according to what you need. You can even add little accessories like rocks. You don't, don't want to make it too heavy in case this is the very thin glass because it might break. And then you can add an assortment of very colorful and interesting Tillandsias with different textures and shapes. Again, this is a very simple arrangement. You can even add little pieces of driftwood, or things you have around the house to give a little bit more um, an, an interesting look. Now this is one Tillandsia arrangement. I'm going to show you different other ways to display them. Um, another way is to use uh, shells. And shells are very simple. A lot of people have shells around the house, or you can gather them um, when on your family trips. So basically what you do is you add a little hot glue and you be very careful because I've gotten burned many times. <laughs> um, just put a dab of hot glue right where, um, right, for example, right on the, the bottom portion. Place the Tillandsia right on top of the hot glue. Press it down for a few seconds and it should hold. And then you have your own little Tillandsia shell. I find quite uh, cute. And then have another one. I find a little, another Tillandsia, even smaller than the other one. Same idea is to add a little dab of hot glue. Be careful of your fingers. Then you have to apply this Again, the Tillandsia is quite quickly because then the, the glue would dry. Again, this is fairly simple. Again, you have a tiny little Tillandsia um, on a nice, cute little shell. Now I'm going to talk to you about how to uh, mount Tillandsias using um, a larger piece of wood and a very colorful Tillandsia. Okay. So all you need to do is Take your hot glue gun, be very careful when you handle hot glue, and you place it anywhere you like. Here I'm going to place it right here um, and make, put a larger dab of hot glue because this is a larger Tillandsia. And then quickly take the base, it can, doesn't matter, you can take a, the, the side of it, but at the base of it, and place it tightly and hold it for a few seconds until it stays. So this is the finished product of a beautiful Tillandsia, a very colorful one with purple flowers that's already mounted on this piece of wood using hot glue gun. 
So the next thing I'm going to show you is to use uh, a very decorative rock, which is a granite rock. And if you don't have a hot glue gun, you can simply lay it on here for decoration. Um, and it serves the same purpose. It's very creative um, and beautiful looking. And you can lay it on a bookshelf or on your coffee table. So the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is how to care for Tillandsias. Tillandsias need good air circulation, filtered sunlight or shade, and water. The best way to water Tillandsias is to use a spray bottle. And if it's outdoors, you spray it about three times a week. And you spray it all over its leaves until it's fully moist and underneath. Now if it's indoors, you may want to go a little bit less, like twice a week. So you don't want to use distilled water because distilled water is um, too pure uh, and doesn't contain any nutrients. You can use tap water as long as it's been resting for a little while and then you can spray your Tillandsias. And you can fertilize your Tillandsias using a bromeliad fertilizer at one fourth strength or using a cactus and succulent fertilizer and dilute it um, with water. And fertilize the Tillandsias using a spray bottle, the same technique, spraying it um, and doing that once a month, and again, spraying it all over, but you only fertilize it once a month, whereas you um, spray your Tillandsias uh, two or three times a week. So I just spoke to you about Tillandsia, how to display them, and how to care for them. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you again soon.